because a whole lot of appropriation and then recharacterization into the Western metaphor in Western frameworks is already happening of our tradition. Okay, There's so a huge a, amount of stuff that has been appropriated. That's a very interesting uh, argument you have that there, this, uh, this appropriation and digestion is already taking place. Do you think you could give some examples of that kind of thing sure. that you see happening? Sure. Well, a lot of uh, uh, right here in the Massachusetts area, you have uh, John Kabat-Zinn who has a, a trademarked uh, mindfulness meditation, but actually it's Vipassana. And Vipassana meditation, which he learned and wrote about in his early years, uh, is a Buddhist th system that cannot be separated from the overall philosophy of life of Buddhism, uh, but separating it from Buddhism, secularizing it, turning it into modern medicine, getting trademarks and patents and getting all kinds of NIH, uh, National Institute of Health grants and so on, uh, has decoupled it from its roots and turned it into Western thought. Another one is uh, Herb Benson in Harvard, who took the transcendental meditation of Maharishi and turned it into his own spin on it called the relaxation response, trademarked it and became a thriving success. Now the issue with all this is that while in the short term it seems to popularize something without the Indian so-called baggage, which is how they rationalize why they're doing this, but in the long run you do not get the benefit of what has been left behind. A whole lot of the source tradition is left behind. Right, it's the tip of an iceberg. It's the tip say. of the iceberg and the whole metaphysics and philosophy and cosmology and how, how it has to work with the soil of a plant cannot be left behind. You cannot remove the plant, wash it off the soil, soil and replant it somewhere else without losing something. Mm -hmm. So the Indian soil, the roots have been denuded of the Indian soil and therefore this in the interest of cross fertilization, which I agree is a good idea, a lot has been left behind. Now I don't want people to think that I'm against cross-fertilization, that I'm against uh, uh, the, the merger and integration of civilizations because I do believe in that. But it should be done in an authentic way. The origins should be preserved, the original pioneers should be respected. New pioneers who just went to the east and brought all this, they should not be classified as the founders. In Massachusetts they have alternate medicine, there is a curriculum of alternate medicine in the classes and they have a course in med medical schools on the history of uh, holistic healing. Now you would think that holistic healing is one thing where they would certainly acknowledge the Indian contribution. But it is all Herb Benson did this and, and John Cabot Zen came up with that and Stephen LaBerge came up with that and these big people who used to have gurus who learnt at the feet of Indian masters have now abandoned those and become the founding fathers of this new science in the eyes of Westerners. So the Indian knowledge has been digested into these new Westerners mm -hmm. and that is, so therefore we're either being digested 